September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. Okay. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Uh-oh. Not approved, huh? Hmm. Alright guys. This game is called Faith. Uh, from what I know, it's kind of a classic. It's been around for a while. At least a little while. It's, uh, 2019. I got it on Itch.io for free. Uh, it's definitely one of those, uh, 8-bit retro type games that I enjoy. Uh, about that opening sequence, that was interesting. Clearly, we're like a nun or like a priest or something. Uh, but why did we have a robot voice? I have a lot of questions about that. Are we like Rambo nun or Rambo priest? I don't know, but it seems like we're off on a journey to finish what we started, and that is to give someone, apparently, an exorcism the needed one. So, uh, let us do this. Let us go. Let us... Let us gently flow into the arms of Christ or something. All right, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so why are we dressed in blue? We look like we're in a Power Rangers outfit. Is that traditionally what nuns wear? I'm very confused. Oh, look, a deer. Hey, deer. Oh, oh, look. Okay. Pressing space brings our, uh, Handy dandy cross out our crucifix, which will indeed fix all problems in real life. I've tried it before and I can confirm. Uh, here's some uh, bundles of wood. Clearly not uh, natural in their formation. I have no idea what we're doing or where we're going. I'm assuming we're going to someone's house to do an exorcism or something. Okay. Oh, oh, shit! What was that? What did that do? Is that a letter? That's horrifying. Um, you're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd. 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road. And go... Uh, straight past the well. So it looks like we're on the right track. Um, the clown is terrifying. Like, why would any... For one, I hate clowns, but like, why would anyone want a clown with like, big yellow fucking teeth at their birthday party? Can someone please explain why that would be? Because I can't, and the deer looks scared. Um, I don't know if the deer is scared of us. Uh, oh! Haha, uh, stay back, you. Stay back, you stupid beast. So yeah, I don't know if the um, uh, deer is afraid of us because we look like a super Rambo nun Power Ranger. Um, or there's something evil here. Can we just uh, crucifix the door open? No, I guess not. I guess we'll look around then. Okay. Um... Are we on the roof? What is happening here? Alright, so this is all like 8-bit graphics, 2D, whatever you want to call it. Clearly, we can't just waltz around the backyard, so... Uh, maybe we'll find a key somewhere else. I have no idea. Like, where are we gonna get a key? Oh, get the fuck out of here. Let's try it. <laughs> uh, these games. We're back at the well. We didn't get a key from the well. So. No, no, no. No, no, sir. No, no. Okay, so... What do we do? Do we just keep wandering until we just... Come upon a... Shit! 
All right. Oh, wow. This is going to be a doozy, isn't it? Um. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Holy. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree. Looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it. And the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from uh, some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Wow, what ignorant bitches, right? Am I wrong here? Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, Yui. Chaos Reds. What? Okay, Chaos Reigns. Looks like a mutilated cat or something. Can we shun this deer? Shun you. Uh, what? Where's the key? Where's this key? Okay, here's a cross. We can't do anything with the cross. Um. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Okay, so that's like a gravestone. A tombstone, and I think this is too. Oh, we can exercise this, though. Uh, okay. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who is buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of the peers, some of my peers, at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. Okay, what is this? Another note. Public lecture, er, it says, le lecture, by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Okay, here's a little shack. Oh, and the key! We found the key, guys! Oh my god! Alright, we got the key. Yeah, you, you keep your ass out. Okay, I think the game just saved, so... There are, um... Moments of time where the game saves. That's great. I'm so happy about that. Oh... Boy. Um... The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Smoke Meadow Hill Road. Snake. Excuse me, not smoke. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was all ready dark when we arrived. Father Allred seems to know where he was going. Okay. Wow, but something about this jagged text is like hard to read for some reason. I don't know, I have a, like, bad eyesight too, so anyway. Um, he simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father already explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain um, inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the rites uh, that may seem harsh to the lay person. Okay, so he wanted to perform the exorcism here, but the family was like, oh no, no, boo boo. Mm mm. Not gonna happen. So I think we're gonna go try to find the house. Now that we got the key and it's saved. Hopefully we don't get killed by another spider. I would prefer not. 
possible. You know, I suddenly looked like a Rambo nun. Um, Power Ranger. But we actually kind of look like uh, Mega Man. Duh. Did we already read this? No. Okay. <laughs> Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problem occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Okay, gross. If your kids like, ah, maybe I'm judging here. By the way, I was gonna say this character looks like Mega Man. I don't know if I said that. I might have got interrupted, but yeah, if your kids uh are just kind of naturally inclined to touch dead, mutilated animals, I might be a little scared about that. So, did we just loop back to the? We just loop back to the fucking cabin. Okay, so we're at the well. And I think the house is up from the well. Suffer. I'm not gonna be oh, suffering, me. dude. You are. Okay. Look at all these bundles of sticks. Oh, I just saw something in there. Can we, like... Exercise it through the window. I don't think so. What's going on? Oh! Ooh. I am scared. Officially so. Mr. and Miss Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was a guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. No, no, probably a devil. Okay. Oh, look, we can even exercise that. There's so many things to exercise. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful family pro... Uh, portrait, excuse me. So, we're blue. She's purple. I'm getting this. Okay, we can't exercise this. Can we exercise the coat? Okay. And we'll just make sure that we don't need to exercise the plant. Alright, no, no plant goblin. Great. Uh, I guess we'll go up. Oh, a jack-o'-lantern. Is that what that is? You cannot exercise it. I feel the need to exercise everything. Oh, we can exercise this. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little cult member in a red robe with a creepy, branchy-looking guy that's kind of like a Slender Man or something. Under the beautiful sunlight and uh, bright green grass. Reminds me of my artwork. Okay, so we can't go in there. Okay. Plant, we good plant? Okay. So there's a nice couch. There's a TV and a table. This kind of just looks like a family room. We're in the bedroom now. Excellent. I don't see anything out of place. I'd be a little worried about the mirror, though. Let's see if anything happens in the mirror. Ooh. Okay. Nothing, nothing too out of the ord. <laughs> All right, so we've explored the whole bottom floor. 
At least I think so. So we'll go upstairs. Okay, so is that another picture we can... No. It's like a workout bike. A door that we can't open. Oh, is this a bathtub? Huh, Mr. Rubber Ducky. Okay. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what is out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival of fun house. Um, probably without the fun. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't. We have the boys here. Okay. Um, I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. And now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Thank God for Bob. Bob to the rescue. Alright, so I don't know if these are pictures. These could be just like shelves with stuff. I suppose. Um, there's like a, what is that? Is that an octopus? <laughs> we have two notes here. Okay. Uh, Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Amish about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Okay. Uh, that was a baby doll. To me, it looked like a squid. I don't know. I thought it was Cthulhu. Or Cthulhu, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, okay. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So, I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Alright, this feels like the movie The Exorcist. Hopefully we get some projectile vomit. Because everyone likes that. Don't tell me otherwise. Okay, so can we exercise any of these? Can I exercise this? There's a lot of toys in here. I bet one of them we probably can. It's gonna be one, right? That looks like a paint set. Power Ranger. A Mega Man. A dude. And a castle. Okay, we can't exercise any of these. That's horribly disappointing. I might cry. Uh, oh, okay, so we came down this way. I always like going backwards, it's cute. Or did I not? Okay, so we are, we're just looping. Oh, okay, look, there's stairs in the kitchen going down. Oh, so there's a basement. Okay, we're in the basement. I haven't seen the um, save sign come up for a while, so I'm a little worried about that. Okay. Uh, dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbaba. Uh, it's what you might call a pagan religion. 
it's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. Uh, one of the saints they worship is San La Morte, or Saint of Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Morte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and, according to him, they prayed for some figures of Sam La Morte and the figures made. Things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. He told us he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, uh, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. Okay. Thanks, Layton. You seem like a good bloke. Okay. Alright, so we walked in goo. I don't want to walk in this. What is this? Okay, I don't know, but we walked in it. Actually, a little scared that, like, one is alive. <laughs> okay. So, a sewing machine. Okay, we can't exercise that either. I thought maybe. Oh no, what is this? Uh, Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for so long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of that fear. Father Alred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs and into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Al Alred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out open wide. Amy was not in the chair. Uh-oh, Amy probably... She probably ate him. Or we can hope. Alright, so this is the- ooh. Oh no. What? What's happening? Oh god! Um... Uh, <laughs> we gotta save. That's good. Ah. Uh, kinda looks like the- she is here. Kind of looks like the girl from, um, The Ring that comes out of the TV. Oh no, she's like following me. Look! What happens if I just sit? Should I keep running? Oh, oh okay. Hmm. Well, it just saved, so we're okay. She is here. She sure is. Okay. Hmm, do we want to bring her back down here? I really don't know what to do. Um, maybe we should bring her back down to that ritual area that I just left. I'm starting to think. Maybe that's where the ritual should be performed. Um, why is this down here? Okay. Alright, so this is where it looks like it was originally performed. I don't know. Okay, so maybe going down there is unnecessary. So part of me still thinks we do need to go to the basement. Um, that does look like it was the place where the exorcism originally 
took place, judging by all of the, uh, symbols and shit. Oh, oh. Can we get her? Ah! Okay, so let's get down there. So apparently that's how you ward her off, at least... ...temporarily, right? Ah, uh, she's after me, though. She really wants me. She thinks I'm really hot. She likes my, uh... She likes my blue spandex. I mean, I don't blame her, I do too. Okay, um... Shit on a stick. Okay, down, 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 going down, down. Alright, so let's go right here, alright. Try this again. Oh god, oh jeez. Ah. Ah. She gonna come again? <laughs> Maybe we don't have to be down here. <laughs> Where is she? Is she gone? Is that the end of her, or do we just have to do it a certain amount of times? Oh, okay, she's coming back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go back down here again. I feel comfortable here. We'll see if she shows up again. She will. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. How many times? How many times? That was three. Oh, this is really nerve-wracking. I don't like this. She's still there. What are we doing? Oh, God. Ah! Okay, great. Whew. I'm like a master demon slayer now. So, a door opened upstairs. I'm guessing it might be the attic. Where I think we read a note about her being... ...up in the attic, really cold. Is this it? No. Okay, where's that door? <clears throat> where's that door, honey buns? I don't know who I called Honey Buns. Upstairs. Okay, so this is upstairs. Okay. Oh, is that the door right here? Okay, great. Oh, it's a Karen. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you that their version of what happened to me... Uh... To tell you their version of what happened to me, okay? Uh, I want you to hear it. Ah, yes, a Karen. Uh, Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from them first, or from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, uh, she, my superior father, with blank, so it looks like something's redacted. Uh, when I confronted her, she, blank, managed to cut the power to the house, um, power to the house, and her own parents with their own blank. I have to go to that house, the nightmare I'm living uh, I'm having a real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her, if I don't come back. Know that I love you, and that I'm sorry. John. Okay, so that was weird to read, since some, some of it was missing. Ah! Uh. Okay. My god! My god, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? No. To finish what I started. What'd you start, girl?
Okay. Hopefully that was saved. Oh, thank God. Okay. My God. What happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? No. I to finish what I started. Okay, so... Priest. Okay, so Gray Man comes out. After a while. Is that the demon coming out of her? The Gray Man? Oh! So we can't do anything to him. We... We just have to avoid him. And continue the exorcism. You live, you learn. And then you get loves. Which are adult diapers. It's how the world works. Deal with it. Okay. Ah, get away from me, you bitch. Excuse me. We're not gonna have this here. We don't do that shit here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Exercise, damn you. Oh, oh, get away from me. Go up here fast. Whew. Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> what a pretty girl. Oh, come on, bro. Bro! Ugh. I like how she revealed her face and it's just like a red blob. <laughs> no! <laughs> It's hard what pressing keys. Ugh, the Itch.io page did say you should play with a controller. But I'm a rebel, and I'm not. Goodbye. I don't have enough time! Oh! Okay. Ah! I see what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. 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 Oh, okay. This is so terrifying. How many times? Ugh. Shit. Ugh. Whew. This is so tough. <laughs> okay. She's gotta be getting close, right? Oh, come on, bro. Did we do it? That's new, okay. What? Uh, what are we doing? Oh. Oh. oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna be here for a while. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try to get her over there. How close do we have to be?
Okay. All right, come on over here. All right. Ah. Hello. All right, the gray dude should be coming out in a minute. I think. Ugh, okay. Ha. Ah. Die. Okay. Oh, man, she's getting faster. More wild. Oh, wild. She a wild child. All right. Uh. Okay, okay. It's easier when she's over here. I've noticed. Uh. Uh. Come on. Come on, you crazy. You crazy woman. Oh. Oh my god. Mmm. Yes. Let's kill you. Please. Oh. I did it. And I got to save. Whew. Wow. Okay, so we can't go through that window. Then we'll go down. Did we do it? Like, is everything back to normal? Everything's just great now? Happy story time? Alright, this is the kids' room. Um, should we just go downstairs? We went to the attic. Okay, we just got another save game. Kill her! Oh, no! <sighs> A Oh, a gun with one bullet. Great. Where is she? Let's look. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh! Did the mirror just break? Oh, are we, like, crucifying it? Wait, what happens? Did I accidentally shoot the mirror? Oh no! What? Did I ruin this? Oh, the gun's back. Okay, this is really confusing. Uh... I cracked the mirror, though. I actually didn't mean to do that. Should I do it again? Oh. Okay, is there gonna be another gun? <laughs> That was totally an accident, so this is weird. I like how the gun just keeps, you know, popping back up with one bullet. It's convenient, thank you. So maybe we don't have to shoot her. Or maybe we are her, and that's why we're shooting the mirror. Okay. Get away, you beast. Get away, you freaking beast. Oh. Ah! Get away from me! Get away from me. Ah. I feel safe in the triangle. This game is like creepy. Ah, ooh. It's like Zelda on crack. Crack cocaine. Ah. Don't do math, children. Oh! I think my channel should have like a... It should be like a commercial for not doing meth. I think that would be really cool. December 30th, 1986, dear Dr. McGlashan. It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinnell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinnell's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. 
except that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased, and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since the first coming here, I respect family requests. Um, oh, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institution, uh, contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spindle in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Okay. So are we John Ward? Like, at first I thought we were a nun. I mean, I thought we were like a Mega Man, Power Ranger nun, but maybe we're a priest. Maybe we are John Ward. So, I don't know. Why do we, why do we get the gun again? What's the gun for? All right, so I looked all around the house. I think we're done in the house. I'm not really sure what we're doing now. I guess we could go to the car. I have heard that there are multiple endings, however. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what they would be. So I suppose we could just go to the car. Hmm. Well, I guess we should just see if we can get in the car. Oh. oh. <laughs> I wasn't... What? What the hell? What was that? That was weird. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor of the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Okay. Well, I think that's the end. Five of five. Okay, so there are other endings. Uh, but to be honest, I think I'm good at this point. I very well might revisit this game again and try to get the other four endings. If I do that, I think I'll record them as a separate video. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this one. Uh, overall, I think this was a really cool game. I love the retro um, 8-bit type game. It was so Nintendo feeling. I loved it. And it was actually really creepy. There were a lot of um, disturbing themes, and I liked the whole exorcism aspect to it. And the boss battles were um, challenging, but not too challenging. So it was a good game. And you know what? There's two more of these. There's three faiths. This is just faith chapter one. So I do plan to check out chapter two and three in the very soon future um so look out for those okay so if you like this video click like if you like me um subscribe to me because i'm real cool share my video blah 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 and have a great uh weekend i think it's the weekend right it's the weekends it's the weekend okay peace